stop. Family shop. Think Thayer. Come on, let's get rolling. Come on, let's get moving. Think Thayer. Oh, most definitely. Uh, team chemistry is fantastic. Uh, blending in four new freshmen as well as some new staff members. We've got two new assistant coaches. We've uh, started a new position, our video coordinator spot. So that's another new coach. Uh, we have a, a new uh, graduate assistant trainer, a new academic person. So we've got a lot of new faces and having more time to spend with each other has really helped uh, the, the blend and I couldn't be happier with where we are right now. You listed a lot of news both in your staff and on your roster. How has that affected the start of practice? Have you had to scale back a little? Or? I've got a couple of new, new faces, so I've uh, called a couple of the freshmen the wrong names already, so I get a couple of them confused, but uh, honestly, the, the flow has been great, and they've had the opportunity, the, the new freshmen have had the opportunity to get to know the, the new coaches and uh, develop a relationship already, and that's the most important uh, thing that I was looking for is how they would take the new faces, because those two did not recruit them, and so they've had some catching up to do, getting to know uh, all about them and all about their families, but really Really pleased, as I said, with where we are chemistry rise right now. But the the trip was a great opportunity, not only to become stronger as a team, but the additional practices is second to none. Uh, but going to Cuba, where we did, and, and seeing a different lifestyle, I think has put a lot of things into perspective uh, for 18 to 22 year olds as well as our staff. Is there a focal but, point in the, in the offseason on these during these practices? Maybe a little change from last year. Or more of the same. No, we're doing the same same as what we have. It's just been nice that we've had uh, numbers in, in practice. So as everybody knows, the past two years, I mean, we've uh, two years ago by before Christmas, we were down to seven players for the rest of the season. Uh, last year, we were down to as many as nine uh, and with a lot of aches and pain. So uh, we, we've got uh, 12 healthy bodies right now and we're uh, just started going with our men's practice squad. So uh, we, we emphasize the same, same thing year in and year out. Uh, when I was here as an assistant, as now being the head coach. I know there's only so much you can do in the summer, but you mentioned the injuries. Did you kind of politely tell everyone to spend maybe more time in the, the weight room just from like uh, injury prevention and also the, the strength standpoint? We, we've tried everything except a seance. So it is uh, something that has just happened. It's, it's really bad luck more than anything else in, in my opinion. But uh, we do every extra thing you can think of. Uh, but I like the, the fact that our kids came into the summertime in shape. So you didn't have to spend your uh, summer access hours getting into shape. Uh, our strength coach was really pleased with uh, where they were coming into it and then I was pleased with where we were going in uh, to Cuba uh, with, with our conditioning and just the knowledge that uh, our upperclassmen have have shared with our freshmen it's just like I said it's been a really good blend and I've been, been pleased with where we are uh, right right now so every coach is going to tell you that because every coach right now is undefeated. Is that different from the last couple of seasons with the strength coach just saying hey I'm impressed with where they are now versus no, he's, he said that before. Our, our kids work really hard in, in the weight room, just like every other program does, but uh, just having the uh, bodies and availability is the best ability, as I've always said, and, and we have the numbers right, right now. So uh, looking forward to having five on five, uh, five girls against five girls, and uh, we haven't been able to have that uh, in the past couple seasons at this particular time of the year as well. From a playing perspective, seeing what they had in Cuba, how do you look to kind of like what key takeaways or how do you look to improve upon like the playing part of it now that you're getting back here in this season? Well, I'm ecstatic. I mean, in Cuba, it was 95 degrees, and we were playing outside in 80% humidity. So, and we had a rain delay uh, for one game. So, being in the Stroh Center where it's 72 degrees every day is a plus. But uh, we're we're gonna. We already have in X amount of plays already, so looking at my practice plans from the previous years, as I said, as an assistant and as a head coach, we're, we're ahead of where we want to be right now. So uh, continuing to develop on the relationships with our, our newcomers and our returnees, um, player-wise and coaches-wise, has been a, a focal point for sure. Besides staying healthy, I guess what would be some of the keys that, you, that you're going to need this season for success? Well, our rebounding numbers have, um, it's a statement of the obvious, have been lower than what they have been, but 
I look at that is because we've we've had fewer um, bodies to put on the floor. More times than not, we're playing four guards over the past two years in in our lineup. So uh, we want to in, increase those numbers significantly. But uh, I believe we're a really good three point shooting team. Uh, I would love those percentages to be in the the top third of the conference um, year in and year out. Um, free throw percentage as well, um, making more than our opponents take. That has always been a, a big key for for me and for this program. And those are just some, some tangibles as well. But uh, what I've learned over uh, the last few years as a head coach, sometimes the intangibles are, are what make teams special. Looking at the roster that you have at this point, in terms of upperclassmen, is there anybody who's caught your eye or taken a step forward from last year? I feel like the upperclassmen have done a really good job of taking the, the new ones underneath their wings and are teaching as well as mentoring on the sideline and during play. And that, that's a big, big component because sometimes um, upperclassmen um, can get frustrated with young ones if they don't know what they're doing, but we haven't had that and it's been uh, a very good um, relationship between classes and, and that's important and that has been a, a big key that I've really noticed uh, this year and have been pleasantly pleased with. Have you seen any freshmen, have you seen any freshmen who really impressed you uh, this preseason? Uh, pre uh, all four have, have shown flashes so I've been really pleased with that. Uh, they've all had remarkable high school careers and now making the adjustment from high school to college. Uh, we tell them on a regular basis. I mean, strength is the biggest difference between senior year to freshman year of college. Uh, speed will be the, the next biggest difference as well as uh, the amount of studying that, that goes on. The, a lot of kids do film work in high school, but now times that by 10 is what you get at this level. So it, it's almost like an additional class as well with what you have to learn each team does to you and what you need to do to them offensively and defensively in regards to strategy. And uh, those three keys are, in my opinion, the biggest difference. And obviously, time management is the, the statement of the obvious right there. But uh, we're looking for uh, the, the four to contribute. And I think they've, they've all had their moments in practice already. So that I've been pleased with. We're going to have to go two more questions. Are there particular players in terms of the upperclassmen who have stepped up their game on the court? You know what? It's um, it's been a really good blend, and you, if you chart practice different days, I mean, we've had different people lead in different categories of rebounding or assist or uh, talking, uh, the tangibles and intangibles, as I said. So we've had different kids lead in all those different categories, and that's what I've, I've been really pleased with. So uh, they're all got a hand in it, as you you might say, and they all want. Um, to do well and they on the court and off the court and they're all pleasers and they all want to uh, get to Cleveland. They all want to put the past couple years of injuries behind them and they want to, they're tired of me talking about injuries and they're tired of being asked questions about injuries. So uh, we're looking forward to, to literally closing that chapter and putting the book back on the shelf and, and starting the, the new season healthy and, and getting after it.